We won't go quietly. The Legion...
Don't listen to a word Nobark says. I don't think he ever sleeps, so it's no wonder he spouts nothing but nonsense. What can I do for you? Are you sure? You won't be able to read in the dark as well. Okay. And remember, if this doesn't help, try taking a bath in tomato juice. She hasn't paid me anything yet. Should I be worried? You got that old robot up and running again? How's it working out for you? That beat up old pile of bolts? What do you want to know? The courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I'd hoped to get it up and running for some courier work, but never could get it running. Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. Don't go getting yourself shot.
Hey there. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk, they always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper up in the dinosaur's mouth. Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Well, up north a ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers! I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bike gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. Well, I think that's a fine idea. I'll give you a good flat rate, and you can stay as long as you like. At least until the busy season comes. Sound good? I'm glad you can stay with us. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. Watch out for strangers!
don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait. You... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. And you don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have, uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. You do that? Great. I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Vertebird pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Watch your six out there. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. 
I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Obviously, you don't know the first damn thing about the Rangers. Without them, nobody in these parts would be safe. No, I'm getting all worked up for nothing. Those boys are just fine. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Huh. People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first too. Was. Was. I still like that. Like what? Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Any word on Station Charlie? Look out for yourself.
Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine, and my friends get a discount at my store. Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Sure thing. Have a look.
They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. Well, they unloaded what they had left on the Dynobite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. Sure thing. Have a look. Come back soon. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Come back soon now. What's going on, man? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened. People would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Yeah, see ya.
God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. I think you better leave. Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Not unless you give me a reason. I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. I said it was a start. This town, nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. Yeah. How you doing? What's going on, man? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable. And she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Yeah, see ya. How you doing? Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for her. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Come back soon now. <laughs> 